so right now we're indoors it's early morning and I'm using like I'm using zero for night even in at night also I never use the for night it's good enough for me so anyways Uh, first things first, uh, after getting your phone and you need to change the keyboard because it's defaulted to the Chinese one. So go to your settings and then go to your settings and then oh, go to other settings and language and input. Language and in so you go to settings, language and input and then here yeah, the keyboard. Uh, you can change it to English and after you've installed the App Store you can after installing the App Store you can change it to you can get any like keyboard you want for me I tried quite a few and my favorite is the Microsoft Swift key keyboard so you can try that out too if you want Next is installing an app store. Um, there are many out there, but many people recommended the Aurora store, and so I tried it out, and yeah, it's great, it's perfect, I love it. It has all the apps I need. Um, so open any browser that you have. You probably have like the e-ink browser. I have disabled it because I already have installed Firefox and Pure Browser. So open any browser um, and just type And just type uh, F Droid. So this is site like fdroid.org. Open that and install. Download F Droid. Once you download, it, install it. And from F Droid, and after you installed it, open F Droid. Okay, here. Open it up and search for Aurora. It's not Aurora Android, it's the Aurora Store. So click on that. And as you can see, I've already installed it. Oh, that's an update. So install that and. And yeah, so you have the Aurora Store. And uh, once you've installed it, you can choose to log in using your own account or you can use uh, the Aurora account. Like you can stay anonymous. At first I chose anonymous and it worked but after a week or so it stopped working and so I cleared the data like one reddit user recommended I cleared the data and logged in using a throwaway account yeah I recommend using a gmail, a gmail account that you you don't really it's not that's not an important one because it might get banned or something As you can see, I got a case cover for the phone. Mm. You can get them from AliExpress or depending on your country, maybe even from Amazon. But uh, for me, I can import from, I cannot buy from AliExpress because of the ban on Chinese imports. So I just went to the local shop and, and actually it's a small shop. They only had like cases for like 20, 30 phones and I was able to find one that fit quite well actually as you can see um fits the size and also just camera in the fingerprint reader even a charger i had to make a little bit of a cut here there the bottom so fit and i'll have to make a hole for the for the 3.5mm jack audio jack and also the power button and the are a bit different in their places so it's a bit lower the actual buttons 
but for now this is the best uh, case that I can find I'll go to like a bigger shop maybe I'll find even a better one but for now this will do uh, yeah it, this is for the, the case for the uh, Honor 8C so for now this is the best one that fits if you cannot buy from Aliexpress you can get them from Aliexpress then for the A5 Pro CC itself There are many covers for this phone, so you have a lot of choices. Ooh, this one is nice. Just look at that. That's perfect. I think I'll buy this one. This one is good too, so is this. Oh, this one is nice. Lots and lots of choices. And that's customized. Nice. Look at that. That is nice. Very, very nice. So many good ones. This is great. them you can just like uh, example just long press and you can see the uninstall option just click on that and uninstall but there are some apps like this Chinese one that there are no options to uninstall but if you go to the settings And doing this has actually uh, increased the RAM storage. Like in the beginning, there were like in the beginning, there was like only around two GB free. But after installing all of those tennis apps and Blueberry and all that, um, uh, the RAM has been yeah, it's close to four GB. So that's good. I'll see if I can optimize it more and get it free up more space but for now I think this is good enough and there are apps that you don't see in the menu you don't see them here but they're when you go to the like for example this one, this one I think is important, so I'm gonna leave it there. But there are many others, and and there are some apps that you can uninstall, so you can just like this in the browser, you can just disable them. And there are some apps that you don't see on the uh, in the home, but it's when you go to the settings, it's here. For example, this movie demo. And I think that's important. I have VLC. Let's install it. Yeah, and then this puzzle is quiet. I don't think that's important, but in this one, it's quality. I don't know what those are. I'll do some research into them and see if they, if I should uninstall them. Besides removing all the bloatware that was already installed by Hisense, there's also the, this one that when scrolling you can always see this one with high smart. So there's also a way to disable that. I actually posted this on the Inglowers FB group and Mr. Ross Peppermann was the one who found the solution for it. Thank you. Uh, so you go to settings and go to 
lock screen and desktop wallpaper and scroll down and go to the desktop settings and there's the high smart you just have to disable it and you can also enable the loop scroll which I like so you can and and like I said in my previous video I told you that I got 4G and I actually bought a new sim card a better one with faster internet and as you can see both um, I have both of them right now so I'm using double sim I don't know if you can see Uh, in case you didn't know to put to make to use double sim you just put the second sim in the SD card tray just like that if you want to install a launcher I know of two good ones. One is the Total Launcher. Let's see here. And the other one is the Aero Launcher. It has a very minimal, um, minimal look. So if you're going for that, this one is perfect. I think this one will look really good on the A5, A5 Pro, black and white phones, and the A7. For me personally, I just use like the native launcher, the default one. It's good enough for me. And in case you didn't know, I didn't know about this just a few days ago. Um, it's quite easy. If you want to like make folders, you just have to do this. And they have it, a new folder. Let's drag apps together mm, and you can rename it if you want and, done. and if and if you want to remove an app from the group just select one and drag it and it's there So there are a few apps that don't work, that, that give a notification that it won't work without Google Play. But uh, yeah, like Snapchat. But you can just, but it does work. You just get the notification every now and then. But skip. Works well. However, there are a few apps that won't. Uh, that you use that won't let you use them without Google Play like for example BandLab it's a uh, music make making software I really wanted to use it but without Google Play it's not it won't open so there are a few apps like that others work well WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Instagram they all work perfectly fine 